dumb but is here to entertain you. Ever since Sanzo Meiwa passed on to glory, there have been a lot of conspiracy theories around his passing on. Of course, so many fingers be pointing at Kelly Kumalo for reasons best known and explained by them. But do you all know that Sanzo Meiwa's brother weighs in on Tefo's arrest as he actually, you know, reveals to us that there was a huge conspiracy on the ground and a lot of news, information is being hidden from the public and from the ju judges as well i'm really feeling so sad i'm broken about this particular news but on today's video i'm about to give you the shocking insight of what sensor me was brother actually revealed to the entire publications and do well to watch this video right up to the end before i give you all the entire details you're welcome to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel like this video drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit onto my post notification bell the Senza Megiwa case took an unexpected turn this past week. Advocate Malicella Tefo was arrested in the full glare of the public for failure to appear in court. I mean, it's really so unfair. He appeared in the Hillbrow Magistrate Court on Friday where he was granted a 10,000 rands bail. Sifiso Meiwa, Senzo's elder brother, maintains that the five accused of this particular case in 2014 are merely four guys. He said the people who actually know what happened on the night of Senzo Meiwa's passing on at his girlfriend Kele Kumalo's home in Vosloros are Kumalo, her sister Zandile Kumalo Gumede, their mother Longwe Twala and Senzo's two friends to Melo and the Twala as well. I feel vindicated with my version that the five people currently standing trial had nothing to do with my brother's passing on and that is the reason why the advocate was definitely arrested. Police will go to great lengths to protect the real person who actually caused this particular act. The dramatic fashion in which Advocate Tefo was arrested inside the court bears testimony to this. It's part of a police cover-up. They want to scare anyone who takes over the case. Advocate Tefo was asking hard questions and exposing the state's inefficiencies, he said. Tefo had earlier put holes in state witness Sergeant Tabo Mosia's testimony, going as far as accusing the police of staging the entire crime scene. Mosia was the first forensic detective on the scene after Meiwa definitely passed on. Tefo accused Police Minister Becky Hele of being behind his arrest to get him off the case. Police Service National Spokesperson Colonel Atlanda Mate said that the National Commissioner had received a report from the Provincial Commissioner. Advocate Tefo was previously arrested on charges of common you know, grounds and a trespassing after allegedly ill-treating a female SAPS member and entering the SAPS Gauteng Provincial Building in controversial of a high court interdict prohibiting him from entering the said building, Mathis said. Guys, it is getting really, really so scary and so unfair. She said when Tefo failed to appear before the Hillbrook Magistrate Court on several occasions, including January 27th, a warrant for his arrest was issued but withheld. However, the court instructed that the warrant be executed when Tefo again failed to appear in court on February 10th. I really feel so sad and broken about this because upon all of what is happening, Kelly Kumalo is definitely the victim. All fingers are pointing at her and she really can't handle situations no more. At countless times she has broken on social media. Countless times her family has actually revealed that she isn't so well. Countless times we've seen her actually go through a lot. Anyways, I don't want to be so judgmental here. So you will tell me in the comment section what you feel about Senzo Meiwa's elder brother's revelation. I love you all.